All right. Uh, hey guys, thanks for joining another episode of Star Speak. Today we have a budding YouTube star uh, who document who documents his Amazon journey and also helps uh, other uh, e-commerce sellers all, along the way. Uh, thank you for joining, Luke. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's it's a it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, usually. On my YouTube channel, that's kind of where I'm doing all the, the interviews. So it's really a nice, refreshing change to be interviewed for once. So this is really cool. <laughs> yeah, pleasure is ours. And uh, can you tell us a little bit of a little bit about how you started? Uh, you've been selling on Amazon for the past uh, one and a half years, if I'm right. Yeah, that's exactly right. And you know, I live out here in Seattle, Washington, basically the headquarters of Amazon, the whole Jeff Bezos internet scene out here all the tech uh, technology that's going getting developed so i knew that there was a big calling for e-commerce and the growth of making money online and i knew that this was something that i was maybe gonna look into but currently i was i was basically going to college i graduated with a degree in journalism and uh, i was thinking about maybe going into the news and stuff but then i was like you know forty thousand dollars a year compared to uh you know, endless a scalability type business that I could jump into. You know, there's no comparison, especially when I have to devote so many hours to that kind of job. And it was just a big turnoff for me. So, but I did use some of the skills to start up my YouTube channel, like you mentioned. And basically I just hopped into, uh, I actually started researching on YouTube, just ways to make money. And uh, then I came across social media marketing at first, where you basically go, uh, tell like a doctor, hey, I can manage your Instagram and Facebook and get you more clients. But that took a little more work. And then I realized Amazon FBA is something that, you know, you can actually ship inventory in after researching a great product right into Amazon warehouses where they're going to be shipping your product out 24 seven. And I saw people as young as, you know, 19, 20 years old making a million dollars. I was like, is this true? And then next thing I knew, they're really showing how they did it and they showed their accounts and I fully felt committed to the this and straight up became 100% passionate. So that's when I started, you know, researching a product. I bought a course. That's what helped me uh, put money in the game, you know, some skin in the game to make me want to reclaim that money. And uh, before I knew it, it was a month down the road. I had found my product and a month and a half later, my product was in Amazon. I made my first sale the first day it was in with using some pay-per-click ads, just real easy. I optimize my listing. I recommend, you know, a course is something that you can uh, really differentiate yourself from a lot of other sellers that maybe won't do that at, up front. And there's just a ton of information out there for free as well on YouTube. So that's when I really started my journey and I actually started doing YouTube at the same time. So I was building my YouTube and Amazon business, uh, which has now led me to where I am today. That's, that's really cool. Um, so a lot of beginners actually have this perception that uh, starting an e-commerce business, especially on Amazon, is uh, like a piece of cake. Um, what are your thoughts on that? <laughs> so like I said, I was like, hey, I got my product in in a month and the first day I made my sale. But for a lot of people, and now that I've helped so many and they've answered me on, they asked me questions on YouTube about this and this and this, the whole thing that is going to make it easy for you is if you literally like fully devote yourself into the business. Don't treat it like a hobby or anything. You have to really research. I, before I bought the course, I really watched, I don't even know how many hours of YouTube video, maybe 300 hours of YouTube videos, just listening to it when I went to sleep, playing Kevin David's hour long videos and just falling asleep to that stuff. So I was a hundred percent ingrained in the, in the business. I knew what I was looking for going around pretty much the first time at that point. And when you devote yourself, it's going to become a lot more easier you, and you build the confidence at the same time. So uh, you just have to do your research up front, uh, like anything else in life and put those hours behind it. And that's going to lead to mastery either way. Interesting. So um, the, FBA course that you took. Do, uh, do, what are your thoughts on that? I mean, uh, a lot of sellers that I know have also taken the course. And uh, usually what happens is it sort of like uh, teaches the same strategies to a lot of sellers. It ends up like 
um, you know, uh, building this uh, competition in the same niches and uh, people start following the same thing and it's like, you know, uh, there's a loss of originality. So uh, how did you cope with that? Yeah, that's actually a pretty big problem with courses and you can't go by just the cookie cutter course and that's one that I bought and it was literally 33 videos. I paid $500. I just, I knew everything I needed to know before I went into the course. So I just wanted to literally get money in the game first to want to be able to reclaim it. But in the course, I knew, you know, hey, find a product with uh, selling for this much and making this much money, all this. And if everyone's looking for the same stuff, you're not going to win. So you are able to use uh, information in the course and you can start finding things that everyone else is looking at, but then just think of two or three steps ahead of what everyone else is thinking. Uh, I know your seller app has the ability to check out bundles and different things like that, just integrated right in the software. That's really cool. And bundling is one of the best things. I mean, I think you can do to differentiate yourself. You don't want to go to the lengths of, you know, re uh, designing a whole product. That's going to take months and a lot of money going through your suppliers to build a whole new model. So just a simple bundle, a two pack. I've had a friend make so much money. He just did a two pack and he's making 20,000 a month in profit, like $80,000. And he just started selling in January. So he just did a simple two pack and literally is uh, killing the game. So the courses, you know, you just want to, if you want a step-by-step -step guide, it's there. A lot of courses also offer mentorship and that's something that comes along with them. But I mean, some of these bigger courses and the bigger YouTube guys that offer them aren't really there to mentor as much as maybe you may want. So, uh, but having someone that you can talk to that's already done what you want to do and is already where you're trying to be at, is uh, extremely beneficial. So do you have a mentor? Hello? Uh, I've friends and okay. yeah, I just collaborate with a lot of different friends. And uh, I mean, I, I just watch so many videos that it's, I don't necessarily pay for a mentor. I just watch different videos and I just ingrain myself so much in different subjects, product research, negotiating with suppliers. I'll watch every video from 15 different sellers or something on that and then get a well-rounded perspective to use my own creativity to come up with the best answer, you know? Great, great. So um, what are your advices uh, for beginner sellers? Like, uh, did you run into any problems and what did you learn from it? Yeah, advice for beginner sellers, like I kind of mentioned, is just ingrain yourself in the research, get fully excited about it. And, you know, once you start taking the first step, I see a lot of people not wanting to even take the first step. They're either afraid of success or something else gets in the way of them. Not like they'll do product research, but then when it gets to talking to a supplier, they just say, oh, it's too much of a big feat to do. I can't do it. So taking the individual step by steps and not thinking of, I need to go from zero to a hundred right away is going to help people a long way because the little steps are easy to do. But when you think about the huge process at all at once, you know, it may seem daunting and more difficult than it really is. So advice is just step by step and always look to get creative and differentiate, go down different rabbit holes in product research and just find something really unique that you can uh, put a spin on in your own creative way. And you guys, aren't going to have a problem. Uh, images is another really important thing. You know, you want a high click through rate on your images. So don't skimp out when it comes to paying for images and things like that. Uh, definitely, that's going to be a great thing. And just optimize everything inside of Amazon. And then you can even build your brand. If you're looking at a private label, you can set up Instagrams, Facebook pages, integrate the whole thing, have a little product insert card in your packaging that can lead customers maybe to go like your Facebook page and maybe get a discount. And then you can actually talk to your customers uh, right through Facebook if you want. So it's endless how much you can do here. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's really cool. And um, what are your thoughts on having uh, a sizable capital? Like, do you think you need to have like a safety net before you start on uh, selling on Amazon? Yeah, a lot, a lot of people want to start with, you know, maybe just a thousand dollars, but you want money in the game. You need a substantial amount of units to purchase. 
you need a safety net, especially if you're paying for rent and food and stuff on your own. A lot of people keep their normal job and Amazon doesn't take a lot of time, to be honest. Uh, I mean, it's, it's not easy, but it doesn't take a whole lot of time once you get a product found or something. It, and when it comes to money, you know, you just have to put it in the right places and spend wisely uh, on pay-per-click advertising. I mean, you don't want to spend until your budget's like not making you any money every single day for a month. You know, you got to know when to optimize different things. And if you can feel confident about a product, you know, having uh, two to $5,000 is a good safety net to start as a brand new beginner seller. I started with less than that. Honestly, my first batch of products, uh, I paid $500 for a hundred units. I like getting a small test batch so that I wasn't, you know, risking 500 units up front on my first order, just a hundred units. I, the course was 500 and then I paid for a software that was a hundred dollars. So I got started for 1100 and you know, I could have had a way bigger launch, way more products sold if I had a, another thousand dollars, of course. So don't uh, hop into it without some substantial funds uh, ready at your disposal. That's, that's very good advice. I would like to agree with that um, because a lot of sellers that I know, uh, they just invest everything that they have without actually calculating the consequences and thinking about uh, what if something goes wrong. So it's just like, uh, yeah. Um, so lastly, I'd like to ask you about reviews. Everybody's been talking about reviews and how have you been affected by it? So the review thing has actually leveled the playing field for yeah. many small sellers competing with these big sellers that were able to have huge cash deposits that they could throw out and get 500 reviews in a week. And then boom, they're destroying everyone else, you know, with sales and sales, everyone thinks they have all the social approval, but now Amazon, I've checked out an article and they've removed hundreds of thousands of reviews from these other sellers that were getting fraudulent kind of fake reviews. And that's leveled the playing field. So I look at it, uh, every negative thing almost as an opportunity. And now I actually like that Amazon's making it so you have to get kind of real reviews because it's going to separate the real sellers from people that are just trying to make quick money. And that's going to make other uh, less efficient people just give up, you know, so more room for the real people that are really trying to do this. And what I've done to cope with it, uh, I'll admit back in the day when I first started, it was basically I asked friends to, you know, uh, buy my product, I'll PayPal them back and you can leave a review, verified and all that good stuff. And I would even, a little tip if anyone's ever trying to do it, but I uh, just said, hey, go look for my product. This was for ranking. Go look at my product. It's on page 11. I just started it. Uh, buy it under this keyword and literally within five sales, I would be up near page one right away. So with all the talk about people doing huge launches and paying so much for launching, you know, that's how I was launching and I would spend less than a hundred bucks and have five sales, get five reviews. And because I had them search my keyword, I'd be really high in the pages already. So, uh, but now that's not necessarily a good way to go about it. So what I'm doing is, you know, kind of building a social media page in the beginning. I have different methods of growing an Instagram and then I build it up with great images and then I can put my product images and run a story post. So it just says, Hey, vote yes or no. If you want to uh, get a 50% off coupon for this product and people can vote yes or no. So if they vote yes, I just search up their names, send them a message, give them the coupon, let them know how I want them to buy my product. And then that works uh, for doing that because then you can actually talk to them and say, hey, can you leave a review? You're not on Amazon's uh, platform, you're on Instagram. So you can ask for a review maybe more easily that way. Uh, not only that, but the product insert card that I mentioned, I just had someone on Fiverr make me a quick card uh, that says, hey, how to leave a review, how to you know, uh, leave seller feedback, how to get a coupon from our uh, Facebook page or whatever. So that's right in my product packaging and customers can get it. And at least it shows them how to leave a review there and it lets them know that, hey, I'm, we're a small business and we really appreciate all this, all your honest feedback and stuff like that. So that's some of the legit ways to do it. There's more sophisticated ways where people use something like Zon pages and 
all their orders, all the orders that you get from your product can be linked to someone's actual Facebook. Uh, they get their kind of address and then you integrate a chat, a chat bot that will pop up on their page and it will say, Hey, like, we're hope you, we hope you like this product that you've been enjoying. Uh, and then it kind of gets them in the funnel of leaving a review for you that way. So there's a lot of different good methods to go about it. And, uh, I mean, a lot of them are out on YouTube. A lot of people have been talking about it. So I've been working with it and, uh, you know, getting those first initial review reviews are really important anyway to building that good authority for your product and social approval so that you, when you do run PPC, people can actually read reviews and know that they're buying a good product. Interesting. And I really like the fact that you pointed out like the Instagram story thing. And uh, I definitely think these are some of the ways that you can uh, drive traffic to your Amazon page as well. And um, that's, that's pretty clever, actually. And uh, do you have any thoughts about uh, email list building or how to get followers on Instagram or a Facebook page? Do you have any advice on that? Yeah. So with Instagram, I actually, I started this quite a while ago and I have a video on my YouTube channel about how I use this app called Captivate. And I think it's a $5 app now. I got it when it was free, but it's, it's so, so good. And you can go to, for instance, a dog product that you're trying to sell. You can go type in on Instagram, dog lovers, and find a page that has, you know, 15, 50,000 followers and then Captivate will allow you to basically highlight however many people you want to follow from there. And then you'll follow them. It's kind of like a follow unfollow app. So it's going to get people over to your page. Of course, you want to have, you know, at least 12 images. So the first section of your Instagram looks filled and good and everything. You can have your link to your product there and everything. But uh, yeah, that's kind of how I can get people over to my Instagram. You can even search up hashtags. Basically, following people in each and where of your page is a good way for Instagram and then Facebook is uh, you can run ads to your thing but I like to do things free up front so I would basically just have my product insert card you know uh, I have done a really different ad method actually and I have a video about this too and you can get likes for really cheap if you target uh, different countries around the world that have a lower cost per like so you can target that to get a couple hundred maybe a couple thousand likes if you want I got 3,000 likes for $50 and it's not people that are able to buy your product because they're not maybe living in the US but uh, it's a good little authority position that you can have on your page so that when you do have your customers from Amazon go to your Facebook page from the product insert card that you leave then they can see there's some authority there you're getting some good likes on your posts and everything and uh, then they're going to be more inclined to like what they're seeing and follow your uh, journey with your product and be prepared to see a post from you that's looking to, uh, if you're trying to launch a new product, you can even launch it to your Facebook people. And uh, all that traffic from external so uh, social media is really good for Amazon. Amazon's going to give you a lot more ranking and boost if you're driving people from big social media networks onto your page. Even YouTube influencers, you can go find someone in the dog niche on YouTube and say, hey, can we give you a couple of our products, give them away as giveaways to your subscribers, and here's one for you to review to your audience of 50,000 people, and just leave our link there, and they're oftentimes affiliate marketers, so they can get paid for your product uh, every sale that they make, so they're inspired to make your, your product sales too, so. Great, great. I'm, I'm actually quite happy that you are talking about different marketing strategies uh, as opposed to uh, the usual conventional uh, launch strategies. Um, so it's actually pretty good to hear. And uh, talking about Las Vegas Amazon Seller Summit, I believe uh, you got the opportunity to talk, uh, give a session on Amazon business. So how was the overall experience? The Amazon Seller Summit, it was actually hosted by a company called Seller Playbook. And I was invited by my friend to go check it out. And, you know, it was, it was really cool. Uh, there were some pros and some cons about it. The pros were it was just really inspiring. I was surrounded by a bunch of Amazon sellers. But 
the cons were that the speakers actually were not even that well versed in Amazon. It was it was kind of crazy. So they just hired people to come in and give motivational talks and speaks about it, but they didn't themselves really even sell on Amazon. There were some people from Shark Tank that came in. So it was it was cool in that aspect, but I was raising my hand and asking questions about things and they were like, whoa, I think I need to switch my profession to Amazon or something. <laughs> so it was kind of crazy, but you know, that's actually a, a note that I want to touch on because I want to be real about it. And don't just, you know, fall in for anything because this seller playbook thing is actually now uh, by the Better Business Bureau's like getting shut down because yeah. they were getting people in a course that was thirty thirty thousand dollars. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So it was unreal and now people are getting refunded from that. So there's so many different things on the internet these days that are gonna pull you this way. Come in this course, come in this course. So it's really important for you to really do the research before you jump into any of this stuff. Luckily, I was just a guest there and I could pick apart what was going on. And sooner or later, I was handing out my business cards to people because they thought that I knew way more than what they, they were offering there. So it was interesting to see that, you know, how easy people can just say, hey, this is a dream. Maybe it just costs 30000 I can make 100000 by next year or something. So really got to be on the watch out for uh, stuff like that. But uh, other than that, Las Vegas was really cool. I mean, very hot place, about 115 degrees and uh, just just a lot going on down there. So with this kind of business, you can travel around the world. You'll meet so many new people. I never would have had the chance to come on this uh, live stream or podcast if I didn't you know, start this whole journey myself. I'd be stuck in a nine to five, a cubicle meeting just the same people every day for the next 40 years or whatnot. So <laughs> this is a huge opportunity and I hope everyone looks into it and does the, the, their part to research this awesome business model. Well, thanks, Luke. Uh, so this was actually uh, something that I was asked by a few people before, like, how do you know that uh, if I can follow this course or that guru or how, how do you actually, you know, say uh, um, that this is actually a sincere uh, person talking about real Amazon strategies, but I, I believe that everybody has to do their own due diligence and then do a thorough research. And uh, actually it was good that you pointed that out and uh, how uh, they have a lot of summits uh, where uh, they call like all sorts of people and it's it, it's a good, uh, it's just like another side of the coin, right? So that's good that somebody's talking about it. Um, so I really enjoyed talking to you today, Luke. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Um, and I hope you use Seller App and uh give us a feedback um and um so thank you so much and i hope you will follow um our um <laughs> just a second <laughs> my um colleague is handing me out like papers to read out and stuff so <laughs> well, hey, okay. while, while we're on this topic you were asking about how <laughs> well yeah no it's it's no worries while we're on the topic about look uh, while we're on the topic about looking into courses and seeing yeah. which one is a viable one for you, yeah. just reach out to them in the comments if they respond to you. Like, like I'm in my comments and when people, they really like the fact that I can respond within an hour or whatever to them and I'm hopping on the phone call. I give them my phone number in a, mess, in a message on Facebook. I say, hey, go message me on Facebook. Next thing I know, we're on the phone and they're actually talking with me. It's some of these other courses, they're just going to say, just buy the course, just buy it. And, uh, I might never talk to you. So <laughs> you have to, uh, get in touch with the guy that is actually claiming to be your mentor. And if, you, if they can get on the phone, if you can get their phone number, then that's worth it. I recommend looking at YouTube channels that have, you know, just a couple thousand or maybe 10,000 subscribers compared to these courses where the guys are selling them that have over a hundred thousand subscribers. Cause they're, not going to be in the game helping you as much as personally that they say they will or whatever. So they will have associates and assistants able to help you, but you know, nothing's better than talking to the, the person themselves, you know, who's actually made it themselves.
Interesting. Um, but how do you say that um, there could be a lot of people uh, talking about different strategies that might or might not work, right? So even if somebody is ready to pick up a call and then talk to you and uh, help you through stuff. So how do you even like, um, how do you know if you should trust the person or not? Just so that's, that's a little bit more of a difficult question that requires you to like, kind of what I did, study up a uh, hundred hours of YouTube videos yeah. first, vet them on certain questions, investigate if what they're saying even sounds like common sense, like if it sounds too good to be true. And you'll have a gut feeling and intuition that leads you to believe this, this sounds real, this sounds legit, or this doesn't sound real, there's no way I can just do this overnight or something like that. And some of the strategies, you know, may seem overwhelming. You just ask them, Hey, do you have a YouTube video covering this strategy? Uh, yeah. Can you show me some success stories of some other students in your course that have actually succeeded? Do you have YouTube videos about success stories? Like that's what I do on my channel. Anyone that does successful under my help, I'm able to get them on in a live stream and we just talk about it and it's great. And then it uh, brings a whole lot more social approval to the course and whatnot. So yeah yeah that's good that's good and um so i i hope everybody that's listening to the video today uh you do your uh thorough research and then uh use your common sense to know uh what to do and um please do follow our uh facebook page and uh instagram and also youtube uh head over to uh, our website and sign up for a seven day free trial Thank you so much, Luke. It was uh, really nice talking to you. And it was my pleasure. Yeah, it was my pleasure. I hope to be back again soon sometime. For sure, for sure. Thank you so much.